The Irish people are committed. They're not looking for a job. They're looking for a career. Why is it that the best and the emerging companies of the world are choosing Ireland? Any great company picks a location based on the people and how you can grow your business. We need to create more Irish companies, but we also need to uh, step up our FDI. Today is about generating robust initiatives which consider these questions. What can be done by any Team Ireland FDI stakeholder in terms of attracting or directing FDI to Ireland, in terms of welcoming and winning it when it's, when it's on the way here, and really importantly in terms of advising and nurturing it once it's here. I think the people in this room are the people that can make a difference people that can grow a company start in this room. I suppose last year in honesty we expected to get a lot of US companies coming in and have it like a reverse itinerary when they would come over and find out about tax and talent and technology and, and all Ireland's got to offer. Um, a lot of them maybe earlier in the process so we'd hope by going to the West Coast too and maybe having four events to tap into a wider business community and maybe look at it as a two, three year programme to educate these companies about Ireland as a gateway to Europe. I think we had a very good meeting here this morning and I think we heard some really good ideas. There was some particular ideas I think that you know to set up an app uh, to fast track visas uh, to go out there and you know to improve our language skills. Given the situation in Europe with jobs and unemployment the IDA potentially has the opportunity to work with foreign governments to try and encourage some of the young Spaniards, Germans and French who have language skills maybe to relocate to Ireland. So I, I'd suggest that we kind of introduce kind of you know computer science as a secondary uh, school kind of subject, you know, at the moment there's, there's no computer science on the curriculum. From my side, and what I can do is certainly, you know, stress the importance of, it, of education to make sure that our graduates are ready and, you know, for employment and that are able to do a job and sell Ireland. You probably shouldn't always be looking to the government to do things and we should take bear a certain responsibility ourselves. I'd make it very easy uh, for those companies to set up. I'd look at initiatives, you know, how to attract those kind of very fast stage, you know, growth stage companies to Ireland. From a realistic perspective, it's geographic location, realistically within one or two hours flight to most of Europe and Africa. Uh, and the fact that it is um, the only English speaking hub outside of the UK in which Europeans can freely move. But there's an immediacy where Ireland can win, you know, if a company is over to be able to provide offices quickly, staffing solutions quickly, to get incorporated quickly, where we'll definitely win out over, over different jurisdictions. There's no black and white answer, it's kind of let's, let's come up with some ideas, try it, see what works. Thank <laughs> you.